uh, um, Uber Quiet Mode. This is fucking awesome, right? Something I've been thinking about for a while and something that I've also thought... Because I had this idea, right, for Uber that I thought would be quite cool, but obviously it's not going to be cool because I guess it's my idea. And if, and if I'm not working in Uber, then it's probably not the best idea because they probably have the smartest people in the world working for that company. But I had this idea uh, that struck me when I was... Um, this is before I had this good phone, right? My other phone was a bit shit, smashed up and a bit, you know, a bit, um, it ran, it ran its course for, for lack of a better term. And it kind of, you know, it wasn't charging and all that sort of good stuff. But when I had my phone, it was fucked up. I'd always be like, you know, out and about, usually late at night, partying somewhere. And my phone, you know, would run out of battery and I couldn't get home on time because I couldn't get my Uber. And I was thought to myself, you know, it'd be amazing if there was an option, if Uber had a um, big kiosk, right? Like a massive screen, you know, like those, um, uh kind of bus stop billboard sort of things they're like a really flat massive screen and they're just on the side of the streets and that's got an advert in it and they usually put um posters inside them imagine if you could get a big screen like that similar to what you'd get in a, in a mcdonald's right a massive screen where you order your food an uber one so essentially you could go on there you could log into your account and then um when you log into your account you can log into your account on there and you could order an uber to that exact um taxi rank so there could be a pacific taxi ranks in and around oxford circus or in around a particular metropolitan area, Soho, Dawson, Shoreditch, and it will pick up and drop, it will pick people up from that exact location and take you home, so you can actually get home if your battery, if your phone battery ran out. And I thought that would be quite a cool idea in that respect, right? But again, maybe it's not that cool of an idea. But then the other idea that I thought would be really cool, if there was an option that allowed you to uh, flick a little button or a, a tick or a little switch on your little account once you request an Uber, that allowed it for the Uber driver not to speak to you because I think there was a time I remember I don't know when it was maybe it was because of the Uber strike and stuff and maybe the drivers won't get that many clients I don't know what it was but it seemed like every other Uber I went into the the driver that I was um that's driving me to my destination was extremely chatty right to the point of like you know there is there, there's a chatty where like they start off chatting to you and then they realize okay cool this guy's not on a chat and they shut the fuck up but the chatty where it's like you know the person I don't know maybe they just want to have a chat. So they're just going on and on and on about something without you giving them any encouragement. They're just talking, talking, talking. It's like, oh, the last thing you want to do is like get in, especially if you're going, especially I'm the kind of person where if I'm DJing somewhere, I don't play my head, I don't play any music in my ears because I know I'm going to be listening to fucking music for, you know, four hours and when I'm going to DJing in a bar. And when I'm going to go meet friends up for some drinks or to go hang out, the last thing I want to do is talk to somebody in an Uber because I'm going to be talking for fucking, you know, four and a half hours when I'm out with my friends. So I just want silence. I just want to be on my phone. Just looking out a window. I just want one side. I won't even put music onto onto the, on the guy's speakers. I'll I'll just let him play whatever radio he's playing. Just chill. So um, I thought that'd be a quite a good mode, but I didn't know whether it would be rude for the driver if somebody I didn't want to like whatever it may be. But then I thought for Uber it would be really good because they could easily, if they wanted to, they could easily just charge extra for that mode, right? And say, look, if you want a quiet mode, it's going to be an extra charge on top, like three fifty dollars, three fifty pounds. I don't know whatever it may be, but I think a lot of people would kind of budget for it. And then now this news comes out that um, Uber and uh, Uber is launching the quiet mode um, for Uber Black service. I think that's the service where you get the limos, right, the or the luxury cars. So they, I think they're testing it out on this level and then probably going to iterate it out for um, most of the. Uh, classes of cars you want to get like UberX and whatever it may be. So the, uh, it says the following, this is an article from TechCrunch. Um, tired of chatty drivers, Uber is finally giving users its most requested feature. And in that, I didn't know this is most requested, that's even awesome. And in that way to ask for a minimal, and also I thought this will be the same thing like for, you know sometimes when you get into an Uber and people are super anxious about making sure the guy's got an auxiliary cable, he's got a charger, um, I don't know, whatever it may be. So that might be a cool way to do it, right? Where you go and request an Uber, and you can check off some sections like like you do when you go and order a McDonald's or a burger or whatever. You can say, I don't want any pickles or whatever. You can maybe check off a box and say, um, I want an Uber that has a USB cable, an Uber that has, um, uh, I don't know, an auxiliary thing. And then when it scans the area for local um, for guys that are ready to pick you up, they'll, if they have those things, they can pick you up. If they don't, they can't. And if it takes longer, it does. But at least you know when you get in there, you have those things instead of like, oh, you've got this, you've got that, got that, and you don't have it. But anyway, let's go on. An in-app way to ask for the minimal conversation during your ride. The quiet mode feature is free and will be available to everyone in the US tomorrow, but only on Uber Black and Uber Black SUV Premium users. Um, users users can select quiet, preferred, happy to chat, or leave this, the setting on no preference. The desire for silence might convince more riders to pay for Uber's more expensive vehicle tires so they can work, nap, or take a call, just relax. Okay, that's cool. That's a very good way to kind of get people to go into because that's the most um, expensive option. It's got it here on the thing. 
ride preference on screen the desk quite awesome quiet mode comes as part of a new slate of rider preferences features that users um, can set up before they hail an uber black or suv but not while waiting for the ride or while in the car a bags option lets users signal that they have yes it's awesome too that's a fucking awesome because i always forget Especially when I'm going to the airport, I'll just Uber and all, I'll just order normal Uber. And then, you know, when you get to, by the time it comes, it's like maybe some small Toyota Prius and maybe the boot isn't that big. And the guy's like, oh, fucking hell. So you forget to order like an Uber XL or whatever it may be. So you can put, or especially if you've got loads of people with you. You know, there's certain things you just forget to do on the thing. But I think that's a really cool option there. Um, and plus, I've been doing it quite often going to the airport because I live near Stanford Airport and I usually get a coach in the morning because I usually get that really god awful Ryanair flight at 6 a.m. in the morning. But nowadays, I'll just, I prefer to get an Uber for 40 quid. It's, you know, it picks you up in front of your house. You get there in like, I don't know, half an hour. Um, and it's really, it's a calm ride all the way through, right? Uh, the temperature control lets them request the car to be warm or cold so drivers know whether to crank the air conditioning on. Uber Black drivers are now supposed to wait 15 minutes after arriving, arriving before cancelling on you as it's standard with private car services, though you'll start to be charged as they are, and they'll be compensated after five minutes. Plus, they technically can cancel whenever they want. Uber Black riders will get premium phone support like members of Uber Rewards Highest Diamond Tier, and Uber is going to require nice and newer cars for future drivers signing up for uber black with centralized rules within written at uber hq instead of local branches yeah, the following we're looking to create more differentiation between the premium products and the regular products to encourage more trips uber product manager a aiden gaja tells me quiet mode in, in particular is something that people have been asking for for a long time and the talk to drivers have been a subject of plenty of comedy sketches <laughs> i think quiet mode is going to be a hit perhaps because i requested that uber uh, build a quiet mode in my December product wish list after testing it last July. The feedback I received from many male readers uh, was that there was a the worse things that had to be chatting to an Uber driver and that's rude to dehumanizing them to man silent. But that ignores the fact that women often feel uncomfortable when male drivers increasingly incessantly talk to them and it can get scary when it turns into an unwanted flirtation considering the driver is in control, which is very true. I think, yeah, guys usually don't really give a shit. I think we have loads of non-verbal clues, non-verbal cues that can kind of stop the conversation. But I guess the dynamic between a guy and a girl, especially if the, not, 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 not that it's any excuse, but especially if the girl's attractive, must be a bit weird right when a dude that's like you know again he's he's been taking 25 dudes and then one attractive girl rocks up to his car um and she starts giggling or has a conversation back that in his head that might be an indication that he should carry on flirting when really she's just being friendly so i guess in terms of making sure there's no awkward moments or whatever just put quiet mode in and everyone kind of is safe in that regard um the, 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 in many cases, riders may feel um, rude or frightened to reject conversation and ask out loud for quiet. That's why I hope Uber plans to expand the Uber, to Uber, UberX as well as the international markets, though the company had nothing to share on that. But obviously, they're going to do that. It's standard um, practice in startups. You know, start small in the area that you kind of are familiar with and then kind of expand it as it kind of goes on. And also to drum a bit of interest as well. Um, Uber's uh, Gaja, the guy, um, sorry, the product dude says, did reveal that it was the reaction of Uber black drivers was overwhelmingly positive because they want to deliver a great experience of course but they don't necessarily know that the rider wants um these guys take a lot of pride in what they do as customer service agents i'm assuming so because these are like the people that would uh necessarily lend or do uh driving for like a luxury car service so then now they're going over to uber and uber is usually kind of a bit of a cowboy land so the way they differentiate themselves between those guys is by providing a really good service, but they don't know what good service is if they don't have those options. Because I'm assuming Edison Lee and other private car hire services have those kind of options listed, right? What kind of car you want, what kind of brand, even maybe the, the look of the dude and all that stuff is probably important. So Uber going this direction is probably a good way. And again, I just think it's going to broaden it up to everyone i think most people would want to use that option just because they want quiet especially the people that like working whilst they're in an uber or you know conducting phone calls and all that shit um the, the, the uber did extensive research um to on driver's perception in the three months it took to develop the feature but due to employment laws it cannot it can't actually require that drivers abide by a user request for quiet though they might get negative ratings to ignore them um, um, he insists it's not mandatory the driver is independent contractor we're just communicating the rider's preference the rider can have that information and do with it what they want given a premium riders often cost two times more the uber x prices and over three times the uber pool prices uber could make a lot of money encouraging upgrades that's crucial at a time when the desperate is desperate to improve the margins and shrinks his losses after a weak ipo um, last week saw its new share prices dip 
With so many competing rideshare services around the world, Uber is wise to take its differential to customer service instead of just costly efforts to win more cars, um, lower prices, and sharpen algorithms. Which is interesting, right? Uber's turned into like, especially if you go abroad, Southeast Asia, and other countries in Europe. Uber's popular, but not as maybe popular as it maybe it is in the UK and maybe the United States. The United States kind of has a bit of a split market share with Lyft in certain places, but it seems like Uber is just used as a term to describe uh, a, um, a, a ride sharing um, application, right? A platform. It's not necessarily just designated to Uber. When you go to other, you know, especially when we went to Bali and shit, there were there was a service there that you used that was, you know, they build it. Oh yeah, you want to use Uber and this, you know, I was told to download this app. Um, which wasn't Uber, of course, it was their whatever local thing they had to use. But it's interesting that that's become a thing now, right? So I guess what they have to do, if they can't really control those markets outside of the US and maybe the UK and parts of Europe, is make sure that they can differentiate themselves within those markets um, in the UK, in Europe, um, in the North America, and offer a service that no one can actually do. And by offering quiet mode, I think they're going to, it's onto a real big winner. I, I know for sure for me, I'm a big fan of it. I've kind of gone away from going into an Uber and trying to turn that into a party and having my own music play. I don't, I think that's a bit intrusive in my regard. I just want quiet and peace of mind. So um, having that option will be super cool. But yeah, it's going to start in the US and then it's going to roll out, I imagine, international markets very, very soon.